In this video, I'm going to share with you how Decroft runs the best defense in the entire community. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what kind of content I produce here, the entire goal of my channel is very simple. What we do is we help you get better at Madden 21 through tips and through strategies just like this one where we not only break down things that I learn or I create, but we also learn from the best players in the Madden community. And I personally have so much respect for Decroft, so I'm so excited to dive into today's video. If you had not have not hit the subscribe button, make sure to do that because I post four tip videos every single day with the latest tips and the latest tactics. And so make sure you hit the subscribe button, but also make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these important uploads. Oftentimes we have the latest and greatest tips and tricks in the entire community. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss them. And let's jump right over into gameplay right now. And I want to let you know that we actually have a full breakdown on this big nickel over G in my text message membership, which you can get completely for free. Literally, all you have to do to get the video is send me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the left-hand corner of your screen. We have over an hour and 45-minute breakdown on this very, very effective defensive scheme. But I want to share with you really two components of the scheme that I think are really, really effective and really, really powerful. Now, Decroft actually was oftentimes using strip specialist on his user with Taylor Mays, and that was what you saw. Uh, you saw the user rush, which the big nickel over G, one of the beauties of it, I think, is that not only can it stop the run and the pass at a very high level, but it can also allow you to do things like user rush right off of the gap, and it really doesn't create any new looks for the offense, which is really, really good. So we're going to jump right into it, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our audibles. Now, what I personally like to do is I like to come out and cover three sky every single play um, that's the way I like to play so we're going to go ahead and put cover two in our audibles we're going to put cover uh, four palms in our audibles and then we're going to put some type of blitz in our audibles right SS blitz two is my favorite uh, but you can put whatever you want there and then cover two man this defense is absolutely one of the most powerful defenses in the entire game. It's still very, very powerful, even late in the year, not only because of how good it does against the run, but because of how good it does against the pass. So we're going to break down the cover three sky, uh, and we're, we're going to kind of start with this, and then we're going to work out into different components of this defense. And the beauty of this is because it always is going to allow you the ability to essentially press coverage, and show blitz press coverage and show blitz is the base look for everything that you're going to want to do on the defensive side of the ball and the other thing that i really like to do is i like to pinch my defensive line now you don't have to do that every single time d croft actually doesn't do that every single time there's sometimes advantages to doing it or to not doing it but you see this is kind of the default alignment that you're going to get and to start off this defense you always want to your user to be one of these two people in my personal opinion and I would recommend using the player on the side of the running back. So if the running back's on the left side, you're going to use her the left side safety. If the running back was on the right side, then you're going to use her the right side safety. This is just to help out with the run game. If they choose to run, then you're going to be able to do uh, a lot of really, really good things with that. So we're going to stand right here with our user. And our base look is this right here. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is a coverage defense. And literally all we're going to do is we're just going to put both of our outside corners in deep halves. You see it's going to create this look right here. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the right of screen linebacker that I'm not controlling into a hard flat. I'm going to put the left of screen defensive end into a hard flat. And then I'm going to take that defensive end on the right, and I'm going to put him into a bluff blitz. And you see that it's going to create this cover three Mabel max coverage defense. This is one of the best coverages in the entire game. I cannot tell you how effective it is. And what's really, really cool about the big nickel over G is you get really, really good block sheds as long as you're blitzing three people. That's why you always want to technically, um, the line is going to register when your user is blitzing, it's going to register as someone that's actually blitzing. So it's going to get you better block sheds uh, as the game goes on. As you see here, this is super, super simple. Now I do have my curl flats placed on about 20, 20 25 yards but this defense right here i can tell you right now you could run this the entire game and you'll be surprised at how effective this will be 
So this is kind of one piece of Decroft's scheme. Now the next piece of Decroft's scheme is his ability to be able to send pressure off of both edges. This is one of the best features of Big Nickel over G is the fact that it can create different types of pressure opportunities for your defense. So we're going to do the same basic setup here. We're going to put it right here and then all we're going to do is we're just simply going to blitz the player off of the side that we want to send pressure on so in this example we're going to send pressure off the right side so when we send pressure we want to make sure we have a hard flat in behind that so we're going to take that linebacker on the right side of the screen here and we're going to put him into a hard flat that's pretty much it this is a very simple five-man pressure and at the snap of the ball we're just going to make sure the center gets occupied and as you see right there we're going to be able to get really really consistent edge pressure against the uh, opponent. As you'll see here, let me show it to you one more time. We're going to press coverage, show blitz, pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line out, and then we're going to blitz that right of screen corner, and we're going to put that right of screen linebacker into a hard flat. You see the pressure right here. And all we're doing is the snap of the ball, just making sure that the center doesn't jump to the right. Typically he won't, but we just want to make sure that that is the reality. Now, the next thing about this that I really like about this defense is we can actually send pressure off the left side with the same exact look. So we're going to kind of get down here uh, just so that we're close to the center. We're going to now blitz that slot corner off the left side. Now, when I do this, I actually really, really like to effectively play some type of lockdown coverage on the right side. And I know that my responsibility at the snap is to run to the left side flat. I know that I got to go get it. So I'm going to hold that center really quickly and then jump to the left side flat. And as you can see, this allows me to send pressure off of that side. So what you'll start to notice is tendencies, right? If they have a tendency to block their tight end, right, you don't want to send the pressure off the right. It's much better for your strategy here to try to get it off the left side. Not saying it's going to come in all the time, but just saying it's better for your strategy. Now, another thing that Decroft was able to mix in, and this is what you can really do once you start to notice that they're doing a lot of different types of um different different types of uh sending five out different method you know they're sending five receivers out what i would do is i would take your inside guy here your user amos and i would put him into a hard flat and then i'm going to kind of put him right here so it looks like i'm usering him right to the average person you're going to say he's definitely using adrian amos but you see how he stays there? That's the trick. And then what I can do off of this is I can get onto King. And at the snap of the ball, if I just kind of preset my left joystick to hold down, you're going to notice at the snap of the ball here, I got a pretty good chance at user rushing off the edge. Now, I messed up there because I'm using two controllers. But just know that that user rush is super, super consistent and super, super effective. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do off of this user rush is sometimes you don't want to... Um, and like I said, I would put this guy into a hard flat so he can jump any quick routes to the running back. But again, when you come off here, sometimes you don't want to pinch your line because if you pinch your line, it might mess this up. But as you can see right there, that's exactly what we saw in the game with Decroft versus Young Kiv. This was the strip sack fumble that really turned the game around uh, for Decroft. And again, it's super, super consistent and super, super simple. Again, all I have to do is take this guy, put him over here. Now, what's really nice about this is I actually think you can create a three-man version of it. So we're going to spy this uh, nose tackle Smith. We're going to bluff blitz Gary, and then we're just going to play that cover three Mabel coverage on both sides of the field. So you see it's going to look something like this. And again, we're just going to kind of maybe pinch this guy out just a little bit wider. And what you'll see here at the snap of the ball, you're going to get right around the tackle, and you're going to get that same user rush. That's sending three people at your quarterback with really, really good coverage. So you can't beat that. And what's really nice about this defense is once again, it's one of the most symmetrical defenses in the entire game. So you can do this off of both sides. So we'll see you show it to you here. And now we're going to be on Holman. And you're going to see the same basic thing that's going to happen. At the snap of the ball, we're going to come right around that tackle. Right there, I did a really bad job of user rushing, user rushing. But you will have the opportunity to do that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So once again, just press coverage, show blitz, pinch your D-line, crash it out. And then for looks, for looks, right, that's really all it is about. We're going to do this, but what I like to do is when I bring him over, I might put him over here on this side, and I might put him into a hard flat right here. This is going to allow me the opportunity to play cover three Mabel coverage, so I can put the left side guy into a hard flat. I can put the nose tackle here on the left side into a three rack. I've got the hard flat coming from the middle now, and then I still have that purple zone on the right side. So now what I'm going to do, same exact thing, and at the snap of the ball, I'm just going to come around and get around him now it doesn't work as good on that side do be aware of that 
but it, it can work especially let's say they do something like um let's say they go to something like let me see if i can just find it like a spread type of play like like this right here this is where this is really really valuable when you get this look right here this is where this becomes invaluable of a play so you set it up just like this right you get all your zones adjusted but then you're just going to kind of use it right here and now you're going to see this thing just screams that's blocking with a tight end that's a six-man protection and you're coming clean at the quarterback so um that's what i mean and if they're motioning the slot a lot or you know different different tendencies right but just be aware of that and like i said you can get this guy down right in this little pocket and then you can get really, really adjusty and create some really good coverages because you don't have to send everyone every time, right? You don't have to send everyone every time. And that's the beauty of this defense. Obviously, this is really, really good against the run as well. But this is just one little piece of the big nickel over G. And the beauty of it is you can do this from anything. So you could do this from cover four palms, uh, just like you could do this from cover three. So this is an example of cover four palms. And as you can see here, um, this is going to be super, super effective. It's the same basic thing. The one thing I would recommend out of cover four palms is that you use our savage. So you might need to do some different droppings of, of different players. Uh, or, you know, just kind of be aware of this. But... You know, I mean, again, it's just simple. It's a simple scheme. You get really good block sheds. It's really good against the run. And as long as you can make really, really good adjustments, you're going to be successful running this. So if you want to get the full scheme on Big Nickel over G, in my opinion, it is at least top five. It's up there. Some people say this is the best defense in the entire game. If you want to get the full scheme from the Big Nickel over G, shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812 Two one six three six four four. We have over an hour and forty five minutes. I also break down the entire four six ebook in my full defensive ebook, which you can find in the description of this video. It comes with my full offense and my full defense, but you can find that link to the defensive guide in the link in the description. But just wanted to make sure that you're clear. If you want to get more of the big nickel over G shoot me a text message there's a lot more to unpack this is just a little nugget of what i saw d croft doing against young kib and really shows why the big nickel defense is truly one of the top defenses in man 21 so if you want to get the full scheme shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 and if you want to get the full ebook out of the 46 playbook that not only shows the big nickel it also shows the 325 the 35 wide the nickel normal the 46 the 34 bear all of those defenses you can pick that up in the description but thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful and we will see you guys in tomorrow or in tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time